I'm super happy here with part two. This is kind of astonishing to me that you can actually debug Bash. That's something that I had hoped to have years and years ago. It's here. It works. I've used it. And so part of that is in the context of Visual Studio Code, you can download and install Visual Studio Code using that link here. And also, if you're running on Windows, uh, Linux obviously is native. Haven't tested Mac OS yet. But here in step two, we want to install the Windows subsystem for Linux, also known as WSL. You'll see it on my system. It's installed. Um, the installation instru instructions are there. Once you have that installed, uh, plus you have Visual Studio installed, you can actually bring up the Linux prompt from within Windows. Type in code.space or code space dot. And there you have it. You'll have Visual Studio running in the context of a Linux subsystem, in my case Ubuntu. Once you do that, inside of Visual Studio, you'll install an extension. That extension is called Bash Debug. You'll see me do that in a moment. And then you're ready to go. You, you write your Bash code, run it, debug it. And ideally, you're, you're going to set its um, property to executable in the event you're going to run it from a command prompt. And so um, I have all of this outlined here in my GitHub repo. Feel free to go to the link here in the lower right to access that. So let's get into it. Let's actually debug some Bash script inside a Visual Studio. Okay, I've added the Windows subsystem for Linux and I have started it from the program menu and here we're seeing it at the home directory scripting videos. You can see your familiar Linux commands here. Again, I'm running in Windows but it's as though Ubuntu is also running. So let's go ahead and start Visual Studio. That's a simple case of going code space dot, hitting enter, and then we actually enter into our previously installed Visual Studio. The next step is to install the extension called Bash Debug. So I'll click on this extensions icon here on the left and then go search for Bash Debug. And once that um, shows up, if I could spell it correct, we'll go ahead and install it. Um, here it is. And I will say install. It installs very quickly. It's now installed. I can go back over here now and continue my work. Okay, so down at the repo, I provided some basic source code of Bash as an example. I've also clicked here in the margin to indicate a breakpoint. That is where execution will pause once I run. But first we need to add a configuration here. And we do that here under the Run menu and we choose Bash Debug. And what it did, what it, did it created this launch.json file which helps the debugger run whatever active Bash script I have. And this is the one I have at the time. So I'm going to go ahead and start debugging at this point. And lo and behold, I'm going to make some room here and you'll start to see that in fact it will output here as we debug, which is very exciting. Um, and we can do that by doing the step over command or the F10 key. So I'm just hitting the F10 key now as it loops. And you can see some of the local variables here. You can watch here. I put name as a local variable, but here are the ones automatically included. And if this weren't here, I would just go in here and say, okay, I want to look at this name variable that I loop through with. It should contain the name of each of these names here in the array and you can see Alice is there first. So I'm going to hit F10. It just echoed and you can see here on the right it says hello Alice and I could just keep hitting F10 and loop through this array. So we're seeing in fact perfect execution of the debugger, super exciting and this will open the door for a lot more authoring of code and the ability to actually debug it and figure out what it's doing. So thanks for watching. Let's go to the next video. Okay, let's quickly wrap up this module. Um, again, part two, running a debugger in Bash, or running Bash in a debugger. We installed a bunch of things, Visual Studio, the Bash debugger, uh, WSL, hopefully is on your Windows system. And then we went on to create a debugging configuration file that allowed the debugger to run whatever Bash script was loaded at that time in Visual Studio. And then finally, finally we ran the debugger and looked at its output. And to get more information on some of these resources, check out the GitHub repo. Thanks again. See you next time.